Y Lulito de Escuadra estaba, soy ya heroico 11. Hi, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Luis. Oh. Hi, hi. How are you, teacher? Ah, very good. Thank you. How are you? Very well. Oh, nice. Hi, Luis. Hi, teacher. Good night. How are, good, good evening. Good. How are you today? I'm fine. And you? Good. I'm very good. Thank you very much. Thank you for asking. All right. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? <clears throat> it was good, bad, great. For me, it's very pesado, very heavy, no? You can say very heavy. It was very heavy. Very heavy. Very, very heavy. heavy. Yeah, very heavy. And for you, Liz, how was your day? Um, very good. Very good. Oh, nice. Relax, relax. Oh, you can say uh, relaxing, relaxing, relax, relaxing. Yeah, relaxing. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Hi, Abigail, Amber, and Wendy. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, Wendy. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, very good. I think Amber is connected, but he isn't there. In Abigail, right? <laughs> yeah. How many hours do you work, Luis Ricardo and Luis Alejandro? How many hours do you work in a day? One hour, two hours, or eight hours? ¿Cuántas horas trabajan? How many hours do you work? Uh, eight hours. Eight hours a day. And on Saturday? Uh, Saturday, uh, four hours. Four hours, yeah. The, the ones that the law demands, las que la ley demanda, 44 a week. Okay, 44. Perfect. Any overtime or extra hours? Hacen algún overtime or extra hours? No. Uh, rarely. Rarely, sometimes. Saturday. You can, uh -huh. uh, Saturday. Oh, on Saturday, all right. So what That's time? Good. What time do you normally finish work on Saturday? Uh, around uh, 5.30. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like four hours, like four or five hours, right? Yes, Extra hours. hours. Oh, my God. The same for you, Luis. Lo mismo para ti. money. Oh, huh? okay. Alejandro, the same for you. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, and the uh, eight? Um, five thirty. Yeah. Five thirty. Uh, the lunes uh -huh. viernes. From Todo Monday, you can say from Monday to Friday. Good from evening. Monday Good to Friday. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Good evening. Yeah. From Monday to Friday is the lunes a viernes. From Monday to Friday. All right. <clears throat> Hi, Roxana. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Abigail. How are you? Fine. Oh, nice. It's good to see you all. Hi, Amber. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. Oh, nice. Oh, nice cup. <laughs> now you are like in the rap style. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's start. Empecemos. Let's start. Uh, it's 8 1 already. And we need to start uh, the class. So welcome everybody, bienvenidos todos, welcome y todas, right? Welcome everybody uh, to this class. And well, for, for today, for this day, for Thursday, one day before the end of the week, un día antes de finalizar la semana, okay, one day before the end of the weekdays, um, we have uh, this topic, <clears throat> we have um, the topic um, on, in and at, right? On, in, and at, with dates. Usando fechas con, o u horas, okay? With on, in, and at. So that's the, the main topic for today. Eso es como lo principal de hoy. Is like the main topic for today, okay? So it's time to, to start. And in this moment, I want you to write three activities you have to do this week. 
three activities you have to do this week. Van a escribir tres actividades que tienen que hacer esta semana. For this, para esto, for this, you need to use this structure. Van a usar la siguiente estructura, ¿ok? I have to. I have to. Uh, for example, you can say, <clears throat> I have to clean. Just to give you one example. I have to clean my office. You can say this week, this uh, week, right? I have to clean my office this week. Maybe you can say this week. Tal vez podrían decir this week. Um, tal vez también podrían decir, uh, let me scroll this up. Tal vez también podrían decir this, um, this month, este mes, this month, all right? This week, this month. ¿Qué más podrían decir? Uh, maybe you can say on, on Friday. It's, these are only examples, solamente son ejemplos, okay? So in this moment, the idea is that you write three activities you have to do this week or this month or these days, okay? Va a escribir tres actividades que tienen que hacer esta semana, this week, this month, este mes, o puede ser incluso this year, este año, okay? So, use la siguiente estructura. Use the following structure. Usan esta estructura, okay? This one. I have to clean. Aquí pueden sustituir. En vez de clean, pueden decir otra palabra. Puede ser check. I have to check merchandise or I have to visit customers, or maybe you can say, I have to check my computer, or I have to send reports, I don't know, okay? So it's up to you, yeah? So you are going to write three activities. Vamos a escribir tres actividades. So you write three activities, all right? Estamos claros? Are we clear? Yeah? Okay, three activities. So write three activities about, three activities you have to do this week. Yes? Va a escribir tres actividades que, debe, que tienen que hacer esta semana. For this you say, I have to. I have to clean the house this week. Or I have to visit um, customers this week. I have to install software um, this month. Puede ser también este mes, this month, yeah? I have to, what? I have to call, I have to make phone calls this week. It can be, right? It depends on your activities, depende de sus actividades. Use I have to, Usen I have to, okay? Only three activities, all right? Only three activities. Hi, teacher. Hello, Jocelyn. Eh, ¿Qué están haciendo? <laughs> Lo siento. No, it's okay. So uh, in this moment, uh, you have to write three activities you have to do this week, this month, or this year. Tres actividades que tiene que hacer esta semana, este mes, o este año. For this, para esto, for this, you use the structure. Usamos la estructura I have to. I have to check email this week, for example, or I have to um, pay a uh, personal, okay, this month, or I have to, what, uh, send reports this week, I don't know, okay, or maybe you can say, I have to um, install computer programs this year, for example, yeah, I have to, usando I have to, using I have to, okay, okay, yeah, three Thank examples you. about you. 
three examples okay. about you. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, thank you. All right. The same, if you finish, put a hand like this. Cuando vayan terminando, me ponen una manito así, put a hand like this. This hand, esta mano que le voy a poner ahorita, this one, all right? This one. Oh, Juan Carlos finish, Wendy too, Amber too, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you for putting the hand. <laughs> Is it raining in your place? Ha llovido en su lugar? Is it raining in your place? No? No. Yes, teacher. Yes. Como, uh, how do you say ahorita? <laughs> right now. Right now. Ah, okay. Right now. Oh, yeah. In my place, too. <laughs> También donde yo vivo, in my place, too. Well, you finish, I will pass the attendance. Mientras, mientras se están trabajando, voy a pasar asistencia. To take advantage of time. Teacher. Yeah. Um, how do you say medicamentos? How do you say? Medicamentos. Uh, or medicina. Say, uh -huh, you can say, um, tell me the sentence, because there are two ways. Hay dos formas. Tell me the sentence. Dime la oración. Uh, I have to make... Y la palabra. Oh, you can say uh, medications. Medication. Yeah. Ten. All right. Teacher. Yeah. How do you say bajar de peso? <laughs> Lose weight. Lose weight, lose weight, L-O-S-E, lose de perder, and weight de peso, lose weight. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay, so Rosana finish and Wendy Natalie too. Yes, tell me, Jacqueline. Tell me, Jacqueline. Una consulta. A question. Eh, si yo quiero decir comprar, sería buy. Buy, yeah. Okay, I will pass the attendance right now to, say, to advance. Ana Abigail. Say, I'm here, right, please. All right, Ana Abigail. I'm here. No me servía el micrófono. <laughs> okay, uh, Brenda Yanira. I'm here. Edgar. Oh, I'm here. Okay. All right, all right. Ember. Ember, yes, sir. I'm Where here. is Ember? Oh, okay, yeah, he's connected. I saw him connected. Hey, so Sarai. I'm here. Jacqueline. I'm here. Jefferson is connected to uh, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Uh, okay, uh, okay, perfect. Thank you, Jefferson. Uh, Jennifer. <coughs> She isn't connected yet. Uh, let's see Jessica Lourdes. Se va a conectar en otro momento, teacher. Está completando una cosa de Ok, thank you. Juan Carlos. Hey, here. Loida. Luis Alejandro. Yes, right. Luis Ricardo. I'm here. Ok. Uh, María Elena. I'm here. Nancy. Oh my God, what happened with Nancy? ¿Qué le pasó a Nancy ahora? What happened with Nancy? All right, let's see. Um, Nelson. I'm here. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Uh, Roxana. Roxana is connected, right? Yeah. All right, Wendy. I am here. Yesenia. Yesenia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm here, teacher. 
Yeah, I put the attendance already. Don't worry. And Jocelyn. Jocelyn? Uh, I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Uh, so did you finish, Terminaron? Did you finish? Okay, so uh, in this moment, sure. yeah. I am here. Oh, yeah. I put the attendance already. I put the attendance, uh, don't worry. Okay, so listen, uh, in this moment, the idea is that you share what you have to do this week, this month, or this year, okay? Lo que tienen que hacer esta semana, this week, este mes, this month, or este año, this year, yeah? Okay, perfect. So let's see. Uh, let's start with Juan Carlos. Can you share, please, Juan Carlos? I have to visit the com uh, customer tomorrow. Yeah. I have to visit this week. I have to play football on Sunday. Oh, my God. I love football. Thank you. Football or soccer? Me too, soccer. Ah, soccer. Okay. There is a difference, right? Football is in, in Europe. In Europe, <coughs> they say football for balompié. But in the United States, they say soccer, okay? Just to make the difference. Okay. Football in Europe and soccer in the United States, okay? So thank okay. you, Juan Carlos, very okay. much. Okay, that's very good. That's excellent. Okay, Juan Carlos, select a classmate, please. Juan Carlos, select a classmate. Uh, Mr. Nelson. All right, Nelson. Okay, I can hear Okay, Nelson, three activities you have to do this week, this month, or this year. Nelson, are you ready? Hola, hola. Perdón, me voy a levantar. It's your turn. Es su turno. It's your turn. <clears throat> okay. Act 7. Act 7. Dear Open Office, the mother has Friday. Okay, I have to open. Yeah, okay, continue. <clears throat> At eight o'clock, check router every day. Okay. At nine. Yeah, at nine. Hi, Nelson. I think his his internet connection is Five bad, right? Check at nine. At nine. Uh, yeah. Hola, hola. Yeah, at nine. Repeat at nine. What do you have to do at nine? A las nueve. At nine. A la, a la una, quería decir. Ah, okay. At one. At one o'clock. Okay. Uh -huh. At one o'clock. Check afternoon router. Okay. Very good. Okay. At este, two o'clock, collection de management, Monday and Friday. Okay. Okay, very good. So in this moment, uh, you share your schedule, right? Compartió su horario, el que hicimos ayer, you share your schedule, yeah? Okay. So the idea in this moment is that you talk about some activities you have to do this week, this month, or this year. Usando el I have to. I have to clean the house or the office. I have to check merchandise this week. I have to, uh, you can say send reports this month, or I have to pay employees this week. I don't know, right? So I have to, usen esa estructura. I have to, yo tengo que, I have to. All right, thank ah, you very much. I have. Okay. Yeah, I have to. Thank you, Mr. Nelson Gracias. Gavarrete. Uh, select someone, please. Elija alguien. Select someone, please. Uh, sí, este, uh, Ember. All right, Ember. Only boys. <laughs> okay, uh, I have to repair my washing machine this Saturday. I have to clean my room this week. I have to go to San Salvador this month. Okay, excellent. And where are you from, Amber? Uh, Mercedes Sumaña. Ah, you are from Mercedes Sumaña. Us Usulután, right? No. Yes. Yes, um, okay. Yo he seguido ando ahí por la zona de Seguro. Oh my God. Maybe we will run into each other one of these days. Tal vez nos cruzamos un día de estos. We will run into each other. Okay. okay. Thank you, Amber. Thank you very much. Amber, can you please select a classmate? Uh, 
Brenda Janina. Okay. Um, good evening. Um, good evening. I have to solve the mop this month. Yeah. I have to cook the dinner tomorrow. I have to pay, pay my bills. Oh, perfect. What will you cook for dinner tomorrow? Chicken, fried eggs, or what? <laughs> um, probably it. Probably eggs. It's easy, right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Brenda. Okay, Brenda, select a classmate, please. Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Select a classmate, please. Luis. Luis. All right. Luis Alejandro or Luis Ricardo? Alejandro. All right. Luis Alejandro. Um, I have to play soccer on Sunday. And I have to work from Monday to Friday. Yeah. And I have to make medication. Every oh, day. nice. Very good. Thank you very much, Luis Alejandro. I have to play soccer on Sunday too, Luis Alejandro. <laughs> so we are going, we have to do the same activity on Sunday. Okay. Thank you very much, Luis Alejandro. One last participation. Una última participación. Uh, Alejandro, select someone, please. Select a classmate. Uh, Luis Ricardo. All right, Luis Ricardo. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I have to assemble a new machine on Friday. This week, I had to paint my house. And on Saturday, I have to carry out electrical circuit. Oh, nice. Very good. I like your vocabulary. Thank you very much. Excellent. All right. So uh, thank you for sharing. Remember, the structure we are using is I have to. Es la estructura que estamos usando. I have to. So there's no way not to do it. No hay forma de no hacerlo. Tengo que hacerlo. I have to do it. Yeah? I have to do it. Yeah? Para algo que tengo que hacer uso, I have to. I have to clean the house. I have to wash my car. I have to clean the house. I have to what? to check merchandise, I have to repair machines, I have to, yeah, okay. Uh, thank you for sharing, thank you very much. Now listen, I remember, I remember, I, I am a little forgetful, but this time I remember, soy un poquito olvidado, pero esta vez recuerdo, this time I remember that yesterday you, you, plural, you created some, Activities, right? You created a schedule. Hicieron un horario de actividades. You created a schedule. Do you have the schedule? Todos tienen el horario? Do you have the schedule? Yes. 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 All right. Thank you very much. So listen. Yes. All right. Thank you. Pay attention carefully here. In this moment, in this moment, we will go to breakout rooms. Like groups of four approximately, aproximadamente equipos de cuatro. And you will share the activities of your schedule, but not the time. Van a compartir con sus compañeros las actividades de su horario, but not the time, pero no la hora, not the time, okay? For example, imagine I work with Roxana. Imagínense que yo trabajo con Roxana. Y le digo a Roxana, por ejemplo, yo comparto mi ejemplo con Roxana. You have different activities, right? Ahí escribieron varias. But I share one. Comparto una actividad. And I tell Roxana. Okay, Roxana. Um, I, I clean my house in the morning. I clean my house in the morning. Roxana tiene que preguntarme. Okay, teacher. Or okay, Luis Ricardo. I don't know. What time do you listen? What time do you clean the house? Yes? So I say, okay, Roxana, I clean the house in the morning. Roxana, what time do you clean the house, teacher? And I say, oh, I clean the house at about 10 a.m. At about 10 a.m. Another example, otro ejemplo. 
Now I practice with Abigail. Imagínense que ahora estoy practicando con Abigail. And I say, all right. So um, yo le digo a Abigail, I tell Abigail, I check email in the afternoon. Y Abigail me pregunta, okay, teacher, and what time do you check email in the afternoon? Uh, and I say, oh, I check email around 4 p.m. Yeah, so the idea is to practice the time. La idea es practicar la hora, yeah? Is it clear what you have to do? Toman turnos, toman turnos, okay? You take turns. En los grupos toman turnos. You take turns in the groups to practice, yeah? So any question before we practice? Any question before um, we practice? Yes, yes, solo yes. quiero aclarar, teacher. Vaya, vamos a leer nuestras actividades sin la hora. Yes. Vaya, de después, cuando regresemos o en el mismo grupo, eh, nos vamos a preguntar. No, y... en el mismo grupo. Uh, tell me one activity. Imagínense que ya estamos en el equipo nosotros dos ahorita. Ajá, tell one, say one activity. Diga una actividad. <ríe> Uh, clean I, my work area. I, I clean, I clean my my work area. I okay, uh, Jocelyn. And what time do you clean your work area? What time do you uh, clean your work area? Tengo que decir at about. You can at say about. at about or around or at. Ah, uh, at seven o'clock. All right. Eso es todo lo que tienen que hacer. Toman turnos oh. en su equipo. You take turns in okay. your team. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank Any, you, teacher. All right. No problem. Any other question? Uh, teacher, y hay que tomar nota de esa. No, no. Esa. No, no, not this time. This time is only speaking. Solo hablado. No tomen notas. Don't take notes. Uh -huh. Only speaking. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to breakout rooms. We will have approximately groups of four members. Okay. So let's go and practice. Uh, let me see how many people I have connected. 15, 16, 17, 18. All right. I will make four groups. Yeah, five. Okay, let's go. No, pero ponga el eight, ¿A qué horas empieza a hacer las cosas? Eh, ocho. Ah, ok. Entonces sería... At, at, at eight, eight o'clock. Sí. Ok. Eh, ok. Alejandro. Um, I go to work en 8 a.m. Eh, solamente la... la... Sería eh, si es lo que haces. Y nosotros se preguntaríamos, eh, lo que le preguntaríamos después es la hora y es la hora en que lo haría. ¿verdad? Sorry, for the que lo haces. Yeah. Sorry for the interruption. Maybe, Luis, maybe you can say uh, in the morning, 
in the afternoon, at night. You can say that, eso sí lo puedes decir, but not the time, okay? No la hora, not the time. For example, repeat, re, repeat your example, please. I go, I go to work. Uh -huh. Then you, you can say, I go to work in the morning. Ah, and then Juan Carlos can ask you, hey, what time do you go to work in the morning? And then you say at 8 a.m., for example, yeah? But don't say the time, okay. no hora. don't say the time, all right? Okay. okay en ese caso sería, uh, teacher. Yeah. What time to go? Do you go? What time do, do you go? What time ah, do you okay. lo van a usar siempre? What time do you? Okay. Démosle, Luis. Um, I go to work in the morning. Okay, Luis, what time do you go in the morning? At 8 a.m. Okay. Hoy voy yo. Okay, Juan Carlos. I delivery the report fruit in the afternoon. Okay, Juan room. Carlos. Eh, ay, o sea, yo. <ríe> sí, va. No, what time? Yo parece es que usted okay. me está preguntando a mí. Eh, no, 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 que yo lo voy a hacer. Yo le voy a preguntar. Ah, vaya, hagámoslo vos. Ok. No sé si digo ay o digo yo. <ríe> no. Spanish. Ay. <ríe> ok. Eh, repeat, please. <ríe> Example. Ay. <ríe> I drink a uh, coffee, como dijo Roxana, in the morning. Y yo le tendría que preguntar, what time drink, what time do you drink in the morning? No, 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 eh, eh, su, su activity. Ah, ok. Eh, Está demasiado delivery. grande la tweet. No, hombre. Entonces démosle, va, se lo voy a poner fácil. I supervise, ah. <laughs> I supervise tools to every technician. To every technician. Eh, igual está larga. Sí. I prepare tools and equipment in the morning. Eso está bien. And repeat. I prepare tools and equipment. Yo preparo eh, las herramientas y el equipo en la mañana. Ok. What? What time? Uh, prepare. Do no, do you? Do you do you, do you prepare, prepare tools equipment and tools equipment and equipment equipment okay. equipment. Oh, uh, eight at eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Ah, sí, What okay. time do? What time do? Ay. Uh -huh. What time do? You answer the, the phone, phone, phone call. Phone call. Mm -hmm. I answer phone calls every day. <laughs> Ahora, don Ember, una actividad. Um, I have English class. I, I, ¿qué dice? I have English class. What time do you English class? Uh, what, time do, what time do you have English class? English class. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, at eight o'clock. Brenda. Um. I take my lunch. Okay. Brenda, what time do you take lunch? It is uh. 
I check the mails. <laughs> Roxana, what time do you check the email? Uh, usually around um, 8 at night a.m. Uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, Roxana, maybe you can say at about eight or nine. Usually at about eight or nine. Yeah. Okay. At about. Usually at about eight uh, or nine. Yes, okay. um, start the word root. I start the work group. What time do you start the group? Uh, at about um, 8 a.m. Brenda? I, I have time to launch. Uh, what time uh, do you are alone? Are too long? Pardon. Do you no? Do you do the lunch? What time do you do the lunch? At twelve o'clock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> make lunch. Make. Uh, make, make lunch. lunch. Make lunch. My long. No, I say my long. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, yo la uh, voy a formular. Uh, I finished my work. They. What time did you finish your work? At 3 p.m. Okay. Okay, ahora no, dígame una y yo se la voy a formular. Okay. Eh, collection management. Repeat, please. Management. ¿Cómo? Management. Management. About collection management. Say the sentence in Spanish, please, uh, Nelson. Gestión de cobros. Yeah, but uh, you need a sentence. Necesitamos una oración. Could be, tal vez yo hago gestión de cobros. Maybe. Ah. Yes. Um, I do. Uh, I, do uh, I do collection man. management. Manager. Management. Management. Maybe you can say I make. It's better in this case, like Lloyd does. I make collection, but maybe you can say uh, manejo de gest gest gestión de, sorry, de cobros. De cobros, sí. Maybe you can say uh, I make charges management. Charges. Charges. Lo siento porque hay una festividad aquí y hay fireworks. Sí, entiendo. Okay. <laughs> charges, dijo management. Charges Gestión management. De Ajá, charges, Ajá. cobros, charges. Let me write it, se la voy a escribir por acá. Charges, como de ha, charges. Cargo. Cabal, chairo. 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 Charges. Manage. Profe, teacher Inasi no le ha dicho que ya no va a seguir. Mm, 
No, no me ha dicho nada Nancy Loida. Ah, yo entendí que sí, él le había comentado no, que ahora hablé no. con ella. Sí, no, no, no me ha dicho nada, la verdad. ¿Qué le pasó a Nancy? No sé, está un poquito, este, um, llenita de trabajo, no sé, no sé la verdad. Uh -huh. Ahí le voy sí. a decir que le escriba, porque yo entiendo que es un cargo o algo, ¿verdad? No sé. Ya, yeah. I will text her. Lo, lo bueno sería que al menos si ahorita está cargada que termine el módulo para que si se inscribe otra vez más adelante siga en el otro módulo que ya quede avanzada so she's advanced, but, pero la idea es que continúe ok, that's the idea I will text her y le voy a textear ok ok, hey, thank okay. you Laura. thank you very okay. much ok entonces te hice okay. solo una pregunta me quedaría entonces la respuesta este, yo tendría que decir I do charges manager I make I make I make ah, I make entonces, eh, la pregunta sería, eh, the question is, when do you, no. What time? No, no. What? Entonces, así. Mm. Sería la round. Around. I take, I uh -huh, take around. At, uh, what? Lunch. At uh, 12, 2. 21. Ah, 12 or. Or. Ajá, ajá. You can use or. I take around, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I take around well, my lunch. No. Uh, I take around. Uh, I take my lunch around. Uh -huh. I take my lunch around ah. 12 or uh, okay I take my lunch around uh, 12 12 at 12 or, 21, or 1221 así Porque mm. nunca, o sea, como no tengo una hora eh, eh, como en específica, voy a decir mm -hmm. alrededor que de las 12, no sé, porque nunca salgo pero, a la misma hora. Si tengo pero mucha te hora, quiero, oh, no. ¿De, de qué hora a qué hora sale comer? O sea, salís a las 12, pero la 12 a normalmente es de 12 a 1, entonces sería de 12 a 1 p.m. 12 o 1 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería I take my lunch around eh, 12 or 11 p.m. Así. 12 p.m. Or 1 p.m. For 1. For 1. Vamos a repetir. I take my lunch around 12 for lunch one. Around 12. Así. Uh, sería or. or. 12 or 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. Is correct, teacher? Yeah. Twelve or, or one. Twelve or one p.m. Entonces sería I take my para para llegar y aterrizar. I take my lunch around twelve <laughs> or one p.m. Yeah. Bien. Correcto. Bye. Y ahora qué. Another question. <laughs> Luigi? Uh, what time do you finish the work? Jenny. Yeah. Um, I finish my work at 30 p.m. And you, Jacqueline? I finished to work at five o'clock. 
Okay, okay guys. Huh? Apa Luigi and what time Luigi what time to Teacher Yeah yeah tell me uh I can say a read house or a read uh, my home. Can you repeat it, please? I can say a read my house or a read my home. What, what do you mean in Spanish? What do you mean in Spanish with this and with this with this sentence? Uh, Yo llego a mi casa. Ah, arrive, arrive. Yeah, you can say, uh, you can say, I arrived home directly. Or, or I arrived to my house. I arrived home or I arrived to my house. Yeah, any of the two ways. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, so let's continue with the next activity. Okay, thank you for your participations in the breakout room. So listen, uh, for, the, for the next part, you need to use the question, uh, what time do you have to do? Uh, sorry, what do you have to do? What do you have to do? ¿Qué tienes que hacer? You can say, for example, what do you have to do um, this week, for example? This week. Or you can say, uh, what do you have to do on, on Monday or any other day on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. Or maybe you can say uh, next, next month, for example. What do you have to do next month? ¿Qué tienes que hacer el otro mes? Next month. So I repeat, for this, for the following activity, we will use this question. Para la siguiente actividad vamos a usar esta pregunta. And the question is, what do you have to do this week? What do you have to do on Monday, on Tuesday, or on Wednesday, or on Thursday, any other, cualquier otro día? What do you have to do next month? Next month is el otro mes, o el próximo mes, next month. All right? So we will use this question. Si quieren, darle un, un screenshot a esta pregunta. Porque la vamos a usar para la siguiente actividad. What do you have to do this week? On Monday, on Tuesday, next month, next week, I don't know. Yeah. So make a screenshot if you want. Si quieren alguien una captura de pantalla. <clears throat> All right. So how are you going to use this question? ¿Cómo van a usar esta pregunta? How are you going to use this question? Look. Um, on page. Uh, on page. 35, en la página 35, on page 35, you have this chart. Tienen este cuadrito en el ejercicio 2. You have this chart. Tenemos este cuadrito. You have this chart. So listen, uh, you need to ask three classmates. Necesitan preguntarles a cinco compañeros. You need to ask three classmates, what do you have to do on Monday? Okay, imagine I ask Juan Carlos, para darles un ejemplo. Juan Carlos. And I ask, okay, Juan Carlos. So I need to write three activities. Necesito escribir tres actividades. Okay, Juan Carlos. Uh, so I ask and I take notes. Yo pregunto y tomo notas in this case. Okay, Juan Carlos. Uh, what do you have to do um, this week? I check the emails. Okay, hold on. Espera, porque voy a co tengo que copiar. Okay, I have to write. Okay, I say, he... Has, el tiene, he has to check email. And then you say the date and time. Dime el día o la hora, la fecha o la hora. Oh, uh, Monday. Okay, I say date, Monday. What time? Eight o'clock.
Okay. So, I take notes, yo tomo notas. So, listen to the question. Le pregunto a Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, what do you have to do this week? Juan Carlos me dice, I have to check email on Monday at 8. So, I take notes, yo tomo notas. He has, like this, he has, el tiene que, he has to check email y luego date and time, fecha y hora. On Monday at 8, el lunes a las 8. So, date and time. But for Juan Carlos, I need to write three activities. Para Juan Carlos, debo escribir tres actividades que él me va a decir y yo tomo notas. And I take notes. Aquí ya va a ser antes de la caja. Ahí hay un error, ¿ok? Yeah. So is it clear what you have to do? Está claro que van a hacer. Está en la página, it's on page 35, en la página 35. ¿Se entiende o damos otro ejemplo? Solo serían tres espacios. Yes. Three activities for each person. Tres actividades para cada persona, pero si se fijan, if you see, let me change here, déjenme quitar el cursor. Si se fijan, if you see, aquí aparecen tres cajitas. Significa que le van a preguntar a tres compañeros. You will ask three classmates y van a tomar notas de tres compañeros. En general van a escribir nueve actividades, tres de cada compañero, la fecha y la hora en que hacen esa actividad. ¿Ya? Yeah. Another example, otro ejemplo, imagínense que ya no tengo espacio, aquí I don't have space here. Pero le hago, Juan Carlos, tell me another activity. What do you have to do this week? Juan Carlos, another activity. I destroy used parts on Thursday. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. I need my, my notes. Uh, he, okay, imagínense que esta es, just imagine. Teacher. He has, yeah. Esa actividad la hicimos ayer. No. Usando el has to, no. Y el have to no lo hicimos. Ay, solo que llenamos un cuadro con las actividades. No, no, no. Pero en este caso la idea es usar el has to. Is another chart. Es otro cuadro. Is another chart. Uh -huh. es, la, es la misma página 35. Yes. No, pero esa no la hemos hecho. No, esa no la hemos hecho. Esa no ah. la hemos hecho. Ay, la hicimos con Jacqueline y Abby. Ah, entonces se me adelantaron. <risa> no, pero no le hemos trabajado todavía. Ay, esa, este, Roxy es la de arribita, lo que hicimos. Eso todavía no lo hemos tocado. Es en page 35, está en la página 35. Es en page 35. Es parte 2 ahorita, y ahí Ajá. vimos la 1. Ok, Juan Carlos, uh, can you repeat the activity, please? I have two users. I destroy two used parts. I destroy used parts on month, on Tuesday. Can you say it in Spanish? Eh, yo destruyo partes usadas. Ah, ok. So, he has to, I say, destroy. Esa es la actividad. Destroy, use, use parts. ¿Cuándo? Date and time. In Tuesday at uh, four o'clock. On Tuesday at, at four o'clock. At four. Ya no tenía espacio ahí, pero la idea es escribir tres actividades por persona. O sea, y para preguntarles, tú has We use the question, what do you have to do this week? What do you have to do this month? You can say, yeah? Okay, perfect. So, are we clear? ¿Estamos claros qué vamos a hacer? Yeah? Okay. Yes. So, in this moment, we will go to breakout rooms in groups of three. Vamos a ir en equipos de tres, in groups of Three, take turns. Tomen turnos en el equipo. Take turns in the team, please. Okay, and you take notes. Y toman notas. And you take notes. Remember, these activities are important because you can listen to your classmates. Pueden escuchar. You can learn vocabulary. Pueden aprender vocabulario. You can, you can improve your listening. Pueden mejorar su listening. Yeah, so these activities are very important. Okay, so let's go to breakout rooms and complete the chart. Completemos el cuadro. And complete the chart.
what do you have to do? Me dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. I have to... I have to deliver the report road to the Carol. <laughs> okay. Um, he has delivery. He has the report road. Que yo entrego la la hoja de ruta. He has delivery. Qué mentira más grande si yo lo termino haciendo todo. <laughs> Yo lo hago. Yo, vale. A bien lo hace, yo sé. Era como me explota ya como a las nueve de la mañana y está diciendo que él, ¿no? Soy pues negro, él, yo sé, ese, yo soy ese negro. Es mérito mío. Ah, esa Mira sería otra. <risa> Vaya, anotaron, ¿verdad? Delivered the report, ¿qué dice? Eh, he has, con S. He has. He has delivered the report. The report wrote it. Ruta. You can spell the word in English, Juan Carlos. Okay. We started the ABC. Estudiamos el abecedario en inglés. Puedes deletrear la palabra en inglés. You can spell the word in English. R O U T E. Okay. That's slower. correct. Yeah, slower. <laughs> Más lento, slower. R O, R -O U T E. Route. Mm -hmm. The report that time and date. Ah, okay. Uh, on Monday in the morning, verdad? Mejor. Sí. I delivered report road in the morning. Road. Me falta road. In the morning. El único día que llega a las 7, cabal. Ah, pues sí, le dimos al clavo. Vaya. ¿Cómo dice que le dimos al clavo en inglés? No sé, ¿cómo se dice eso? Dice. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Le dimos al clavo. ¿Cómo se dice? We hit, como hit de golpear. We Ajá. hit the nail, hit the nail, the nail on the, head. the hip. In the head, exactly. We hit the nail on the head. We hit the nail on the head. Yeah. We hit the nail on the head. Nada que, nada que oh. ver con, con uñas, mira. <laughs> yeah. Vaya. La segunda. What? Espérame que esta hija perruna es bien bullista. Me saquen. Vaya, va vale, la otra. Juan. Mande. Number two. Uh, Number two. I supervise tools, the equipment. I supervise tools and equipment. Silencio. Silence. Quiet. I supervise uh -huh. tools and equipment on Saturday. On Saturday. In time? On Saturday at ah, y dio la respuesta. 7 a.m. On Saturday um, at 11 on, at a.m. Okay. Management. Nine o'clock. I am. I am. Okay. Ahora sería en la suya, Ricardo. Okay. What time, what time do you? Uh, Luis Ricardo. Ah, perdón. 
the, no. the question How is do uh, you have to what do? do you have correct correct uh, I have to assemble a new machine Como? teacher teacher uh, what is pronounced and uh, ensamblar es que uh, le escribo assemble yeah. Pero ¿cómo you se pronuncia? Assemble. 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 Uh, assemble. To assemble a new machine. Yes, assemble. I have to assemble a new machine. Yeah. Assemble. Assemble. Assemble a new machine. Yeah. Oh my god. Machine. What? Uh, on Friday. T-shirt, one question. Yeah. Si ensamblar la máquina me tardo todo el día, tengo que poner el inicio del ensamblado de la máquina o puedo poner todo el día, all day. All day. You better say all day. All day. All day. Quedaría, I have to assemble a new machine on day. Friday all day. Exactly. Exactly. Eh, perdón, dice ensamble de, de qué? I have to assemble a new machine, una nueva máquina. A, a new. As, new machine. Assemble a new machine. A new. A new machine. On Friday. On, all day. On Friday. All day. On Friday. All day. All day. Okay. What activity? Um, um. The next activity is uh, I had to carry out electrical circuit. I had to electrical. I had to carry out electrical circuit. Electrical circuit. Circuit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. circuit. He has he has two electrical circuit. On Saturday. On? All morning. Mm -hmm. On Saturday. Saturday, all morning. On. On. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Ah. Está bien así, teacher. Yes, on Saturday morning. On Saturday morning. Morning. On Saturday morning. Ah, tarde y en la en la tarde. No, on Saturday morning. Monday. On Saturday morning, Nelson. Saturday morning. What is morning? Mañana, right? So. Mañana. El sábado de la mañana on Saturday morning. Ah, Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. 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 Saturday morning. In the morning. Right. So, the, the last activity is I have to paint my house all, my, all day. I have to paint my house. Paint. Paint my house. On Sunday all day. To open my house. Okay. Or what not? day? Saturday sería porque yo le dije what do you do on Saturday? Saturday. No, no, no me concentra. Okay, Brenda, what do you have to do uh, the next month? The next month, I have to celebrate the my cousin's birthday. In this case, Loida, don't forget to say her. She has to celebrate on the on the notes, right? Mm -hmm. She has, she to, has celebrate to celebrate her, her 
cousin's birthday, hers. Yeah, her. And Roxana too, right? Because Roxana is taking notes too. Her cousin's birthday. Her cousin's birthday. Her cousin's with apostrophe, yes. El possessive apostrophe. Her cousin's birthday. Yeah. Okay. She has to celebrate her cousins. Like this, all right? Her cousin's birthday. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Roxana, let's just do the next Okay. Um, Brenda, what do you have to... Um, what do you have to do um, Monday? Roxana, yes. can you repeat, please? I don't listen. What do Mi you have salud. to do on Monday? Sería. Monday. Sí. On Monday, I had to... I have to do, no, I have to clean or, or corridors. Teacher, si dice cleans, por ejemplo, ya lleva como el apóstrofe. No, 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 in that case, no, because she's saying I have to clean. Que ese es un verbo. The verb doesn't have apostrophe S. El verbo no lleva apostrophe S, solo los posesivos. Pues, Nouns, los nombres posesivos, lo que ya estudiamos. Bernardo's computer, uh, the dog's food, for example. Y clean no es un nombre, es un sustantivo. It's a verb. Uh -huh. So you say, she has to clean uh -huh. the, the corridors, right? Uh, the corridors. She has to clean the corridors. Corridors. Okay. Stay in class. Yeah. Uh, what time do you clean the corridors? Uh, it's, she has to clean the corridor. Or her. No. I think it's your company's, <laughs> your company's corridors, right, Brenda? You, ah, yeah. Okay. Then you, you can. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. So you, you only say she has to clean. What? It's better, Brenda, if you say, I have to clean the companies. It's a company, right? Yeah, it's a lab. Oh, okay, it's a company, right? Uh, yeah. Then you, you can say, I have to clean the lab's corridor. The lab's corridor. Mm -hmm. El corredor de los de laboratorio. The lab's corridor. Ahí se lleva apóstrofe S, mm -hmm. Roxana. Uh -huh. The lab's mm -hmm. corridor. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. okay. Well, the what, what time? day? Uh -huh. <laughs> what time do you clean the corridor? The I mean, teacher, my teacher. Yeah. What is your doubt? We have what a question. question. Ask me your questions. When we refer to next month, we need to use the specific day and a specific time. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Tell, ask me a question about next month, please. What do you have to do? Uh, what do, do you have to do on April? On April. On April, I have to travel to Honduras. Maybe date, you can say on vacation. Date on vacation, all right? Maybe, yeah. In this case, right? But, 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 but you don't have to say the time. No deben decir la hora porque no, tal vez no hay un plan. There's no plan. Yeah? If you have a plan, yes. Uh -huh. If you have a plan, yes. Maybe you can say, I have to, what? I have to go or I have to visit my relatives on April 17th. Ah, because you have a plan. All right? Porque ya tienen un plan. Because you have a plan. Yeah? It depends on, on your but plan. But only the... The date, not the time. 
if you want, you can say the time. Maybe you can say um, on April 17th at 8 a.m. Yeah, it's okay. I have to visit my relatives or my family on April 17th at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. If you have plans, ya tienen planes. But if you have no plans, you only say, I have to visit my relatives in April. So day is in April. <coughs> but no time. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, teacher. All right. Cool. Hoy le toca a Hazel. Hazel. Now is Hazel's turn. What do you have to do? Natalie, you say now it's Hazel's mm -hmm. turn. Now it's Hazel's turn. El turno de Hazel. Now. Hazel's turn. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now Hazel's turn. Hazel's turn. What do you say on morning? He has to take class. Class. Uh, and time is every day. Every day. At Eight morning. And um, question ended. Yes. Eh, y vamos a llenar los tres cuadritos, ¿verdad? Sí, pero como solo. Y solo estamos dos, no íbamos a escribir el de nosotros en el otro. <risa> no, eso por, eso, por, eso es que, por eso es que estamos inventando ahorita para que no sean de nosotros. Ah, ok. I am here, Amber. Amber, I am here, Amber. I am here. <laughs> okay. Eso es. Ah, ok. Y, Only two. Y como éramos los tres, íbamos a poner el de los tres, o sea, el nuestro y el... De... Yeah. It, it was my error. It was my error. I had to make teams of four. Debía ser equipos de cuatro. I had to make teams yes. of four. You are right. Ah, Tienes razón. You are right. Y, y, no, yeah. y nos quitó sure. a, a María Elena, teacher. <laughs> Es que solo ustedes eran cuatro, los demás tenían tres, los, los demás tenían tres todos y había uno de dos. Entonces al de dos tuve que mover a María Elena para que quedara un poquito parejo. Yo lo, que había, okay. yes, lo, yes. lo que había pensado es que, bueno, por ejemplo, dar la información de mi hijo, por ejemplo, para oh, llegar yeah. al tercer cuadro. It's okay, it's okay. perfect. Entonces, a family eh, member. Moment, please, porque voy a borrar entonces lo que había hecho. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Jocelyn. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Vaya, con ese lo voy a hacer así. Vaya. Entonces, ¿quién va a preguntar a usted? Ahorita solamente yo la información. Ajá, y después practicamos. Eh, Dylan, Dylan. Dylan. Va a ir en medio porque first, no, Dylan. First activity. Okay. He has to take class. Has to day class. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Every again. day, va. I'm sorry. Every again. day. Okay. Ah. Uh, Every day. At a morning. I think uh, you didn't finish, right? I think the majority didn't finish. Creo que varios no terminaron. I, I think some of you didn't finish. It's okay, don't worry. It's about practice. Es para practicar. It's about practice. So if you didn't finish, don't worry. Okay, don't worry, be happy. Okay, so I guess tenemos algunos regresando aún. Let's wait for a moment. Let's hold on. All right, uh, so listen, uh, the idea of this activity, the idea of this activity was 
to use, usar, to use, have to and has to. Now I ask you, what is the difference between have and has? According to the examples, de acuerdo a los ejemplos, what is the difference? Tercera persona, lo escribirá en tercera persona. Exactly. So for a third person, you say have or has? Uh, has. Has. So uh, as you could see, right, como pudieron ver, he has to clean the house. She has to check merchandise. All right. So for a third person, you say has. If for what time do you have? Okay. Do you pay attention to that? What time do you have? So you use have for what? Para que usamos el have? You use have for what? I. Yeah. I. You. you they. We and they. I have. You have. They have. We have. Now, is there a difference in meaning? Hay alguna diferencia en el significado de have you has? Is there a difference? No. No difference. No difference. They mean the same. Significan lo mismo. Solo que se usa, con uno se usa el has, con unos pronombres, y con otro se usa el have. Okay, so that's important. Okay? Eso es importante. That's important. Okay, so uh, thank you for sharing. Gracias por haber compartido. Thank you for sharing. And the idea was to use questions using what do you have to? All right. Ahora pueden usar esta, esta estructura. What do you have to? And then you use a, a verb, right? Yeah, so this is very important. Okay, so for the next activity, uh, look, let me show you here. For the next activity, I have three questions. Three questions. Look at the questions. Miren las preguntas acá. I have three questions. This is on page 35. Está bajito del que estaban completando del cuadrito. Supposedly, I say supposedly because we, we, we will do something different. Digo supuestamente porque haremos algo diferente de lo que pide la actividad. We will do something different, okay? Uh, supposedly, you need to ask a partner these questions. But let's change. Vamos a cambiar. You need to answer these questions about you. You need to answer these questions about you. For example, when is your next meeting? ¿Cuándo es tu, próximo, tu próxima reunión? Aquí falta una E. When is your next meeting? Ah, you can say, it's next week. Or it's next month. I don't know, right? It's real information about you. Es información real acerca de ustedes. What time do you arrive to work? Ah, you say, I arrive to work at 7.30, for example, or 8. I don't know. When are your next vacations? Aquí falta una S en vacations too. When are your next vacations? Then you say, my next vacations are in April, for example, en abril, or in December, or in July. I don't know. No sé qué mes, okay? Porque en algunos varía, right? In some people, uh, this vary. So answer the questions about you. Contesten las preguntas acerca de ustedes, con información acerca de ustedes, okay? So take a moment, please. Tomen un espacio. It's on page 35, página 35, page 35. It's your information, okay? While you are working, I will pass the attendance. Mientras están trabajando, le voy a pasar asistencia otra vez. I will pass the attendance again, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Good. Brenda. I'm here. Edgar. Edgar. I'm here. All I'm right. Here. Thank you. Ember. I'm here. Hey, Cesar ahí. Hey, I'm Susan. here. All right, Jacqueline. I'm here. Jefferson is connected, right? Yeah, he's busy. It is ocupado ahorita. Jennifer Jamilet. I'm here. Yeah, thank you. Um, Jessica Lourdes. I'm here, teacher. Oh, welcome, Lourdes. Bienvenida. Welcome. Uh, thank Juan. you, teacher. All right, uh, Juan Carlos. Oh, I'm yeah. here. I see a, here. a thumbs up. Uh, Loida Eunice. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Luis Alejandro. 
I'm here. All right, thank you, Luis. Um, Luis Ricardo? I'm here. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Maria Elena? I'm here. Thank you, Maria Elena. Uh, Nancy is not connected, right? Um, let's see, Nelson? I'm here. All right, thank you, Mr. Uh, let's see, Roxana? Okay. All right, thank you. Uh, Wendy, Natalie? I am here. All right, uh, Yesenia? Yesenia? Yesenia didn't get connected today, right? And finally, Jocelyn. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you very much. Okay, continue working, continue, continue working. So remember, these questions are about you. Answer the questions with information about you, all right? Real information, please. Real information, not fake information, okay? Real information. <clears throat> Teacher, how yeah. do you say Semana Santa in English? How do you say? Semana Santa. Semana Santa. Um, uh, many people say Holy Week. Holy Week, but I would say Easter's. Easter's. Let me write it. Lo voy a escribir, Easter's. That's how they say it in the United States for this celebration. It is Easter's. But if you say Holy Week, it's okay too. Yeah, it's like Pascua, right? That, that's that's the real the real holiday. Ese es el, el día festivo real, Pascua. So in English you say Easter. No lleva S, sorry. It has no S. Only Easter, solo Easter, only Easter, okay? okay? All right. All right, so the same, put the hand like this if you finished, okay? Si terminaron, pongan la manita siempre. So I, I can have an idea about the people who, who finished. Oh, more than half, más de la mitad, more than half. Okay, one more minute, un minuto más, one more minute. Oh, very good. Yes, we got finished too. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, with my spinning wheel, with my spinning wheel, con mi ruleta de la suerte, with my spinning wheel, I selected six participants. Seleccioné seis participantes. Did you see? Pudieron ver, verdad? Did you see? So I selected Nelson, Abigail, Alejandro, Jacqueline, Eunice, and Ricardo. All right, so I will ask the questions to these participants, okay? So let's let's start. Empecemos. Let's start. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let me let me look for the questions. Solo déjeme buscar las preguntas por acá. Just let me look for the questions. Okay. Let's see. Um, Nelson. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, Mister. Uh, when is your next meeting? My next meeting is uh, my next meeting is uh, Saturday. 
on Saturday, on Saturday. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, Abigail, same question. When is your next meeting? Uh, my next meeting is right there uh, uh, four. On Friday, yeah. at, on, you say on, on Friday. On Friday, at on four. Friday, on Friday at 4 p.m. At 4, at 4 p.m. Okay, thank you very much, Abigail. Let's see, um, Alejandro, question number two. What time do you arrive to work? Um, around uh, 7.30 to 7.45. All right, very good. Thank you very much, Alejandro. You say around 7.30 or or not two, okay, or or eight, for example, around 7.30 or eight, okay, or in this case, you use or, usamos or, we use or. Thank you, Luis Alejandro. Same question for um, Eunice. Oh, sorry, for Jacqueline, sorry, for Jacqueline. So Jacqueline, what time do you arrive to work? I arrived to work at 6.30 a.m. 6.30 a.m., all right. Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you, Jacqueline. That's very good. Let's listen to Eunice, question number three. Okay, Eunice, when are your next vacations? My next vacations um, are? are in... 50 days or in, in Easter's? Days. In mm -hmm. Easter. Maybe you can say in Easter's or in April. Um, in April. In April. All right. Thank you very much, Eunice. Now let's listen to Ricardo. Ricardo, when are your next vacations? My next vacation are next month. Our next month. Okay, thank you very much for your participations. I appreciate that. Okay. Oh my God, it's nine. It's nine twenty-six. Ya son las nueve veintiséis y no les he dado el receso. Nine twenty-seven. <laughs> All right. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. Okay, se me olvidó. I forgot. Sorry. Okay. So uh, in this moment, please let's take two minutes quickly. Tomemos dos minutos rápidamente y luego regresamos. Two minutes quickly and then you come back. All right. Go ahead. Adelante. Go ahead. When do you open in school, Loida? Uh, probably the um, the de, de May. I don't know. You, you can say on May third. On May third. As third. Mm. May third. May third. May third. May. Yeah, no May third. Uh, May third. May. Okay. Yeah, May third. Yeah, only that. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Uh, supposedly, supposedly we open after vacation, but it's impossible because we don't have the certification yet. 
So we need to have you are, to a, you are a public school. That's the difference. That's mm -hmm. the difference. Yeah, that's the difference. It's a public school. You didn't, uh, the, the, you didn't laugh. <laughs> I, that's what you're saying i do a lot <laughs> really what yes. are you, what what do we do in public schools mm -hmm. yeah a lot i mean in, in my case uh you know we have to send the guides i can be at guias, but i know send... no, for the for the the repertoire huh ah, for the reopening Is it, uh -huh. Supp supposedly we have to present a plan to mm, come back really and we, yes and we presented the plan actually we presented the plan ah you yes you, we, only you yes we presented for the, the, for, for the reopening ah for the school that's right for the school we mm. we, we we presented one plan for the whole school but it just wasn't just you and no, your no everybody everybody, ah, okay, everybody. we worked the plan okay, together okay. Lo trabajamos mm. juntos. we worked the plan together yeah yeah, and but but we we were not approved. No fuimos aprobados porque hubo un error. There was a mistake. Mm -hmm. so oh I, really? Yes. So and mm -hmm. I think we will open like by May too. Ahí por mayo también by May too. Okay. Yeah. ¿Y qué error tuvieron, teacher? Es que en los correos electrónicos que se escribían en vez de ponerle punto le pusieron hyphen, le pusieron una rayita. Okay. Nadie se fijó y así se fueron. Entonces solo por ese mínimo error. Dijeron que había que corregirlo y se mandó tarde después para recibirlo. Lo recibieron tarde y ya no salimos a tiempo. And we didn't make it on okay. time. That was the problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so everybody, let's, let's carry on. Continuemos. Let's carry on. I gave you four minutes. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, so uh, for, this, <coughs> for this part, I want your attention. Para esa parte que viene, quiero mucha atención. I want full attention. No quiero que estén... Ah, no, right? Like really focused, okay? Bien enfocaditos, really focused. I, I'm, I'm kidding. Yo sé que están cansados algunos. And it's normal to, to join. Es normal, vos César, okay? It's normal. Okay, so, but, but please be focused on this part. Enfóquense lo más que puedan en esa parte. Focus a lot, yeah? So listen, uh, for this part, we have the grammar point. And in the grammar point, we have how to use, como usar, how to use, Okay, let me, how to use on, in, and at. Okay, how to use on, in, and at. Okay, let's start with the use of uh, on. Empecemos con el uso de on. I was correcting some, ahí estaba corrigiendo algunos, que siempre el on, en el caso de on, uh, in the case of on, siempre vamos a usar, we will always use, a day. Siempre vamos a usar un día de la semana. Cuando, use, perdón, cuando usemos un día de la semana, we use on. No decimos solamente Saturday. I work Saturday. No. I say on Saturday. I study on Friday. No digo I study Friday o the Friday. No. I say I study on Friday. Para los días de la semana uso on. Always. Siempre. Always. All right. ¿Para qué más? On. For dates, para fechas, for dates. Pero si lleva la fecha, si solo digo el mes, ya no digo on, ¿ok? Pero si lleva la fecha, I say on. On January 23rd, for example. Then I continue. Again. Teacher, no sé si solo soy yo, escucho. Se fue la señal quizás. Ok, can you hear? ¿Pueden los demás escuchar? Can you hear? Yes, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, Loida, yes, then you're teacher. having connection problems, I, I think. Okay, maybe your connection is better in a moment. Okay, so on. I continue on Monday. Days of the week, right? On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, any day, cualquier día. And then you can have the, the month and the day. Okay, luego el mes y la fecha. Again, on Wednesday. Aunque diga morning, lo que le explicaba la vez pasada siempre... El inicio es el día, on Wednesday morning, on Monday afternoon, for example, on Saturday evening, all right? I say on, or maybe I can say on Sunday at night, pero como el día de la semana siempre digo on, all right? So this is in the case of on. Ese es para el uso de on. 
repeating. The most important here is days of the week. Lo más importante son días de la semana. Days of the week, usamos el on y fechas and dates, ¿ok? Días de la semana y fechas. Days of the week and dates. On, right? Para usar el on. Ok. Now, do you have any question about that? Do you have any question about the use of on? No, teacher. No. All right. So let's go, let's go to the other use. Vamos al otro uso. Let's go to the other use. All right. For the other use, we have, tenemos, we have, let's hold on a sec. Hold on a second. So for the other one, we have the use of in. In. And for in, we have, look, months, un mes. I can say, um, my vacation, my vacations are in April. I say in. Pero me pueden decir, you can ask. Pero por qué no decimos on teacher como en el ejemplo anterior si decimos el mes. Ah, porque en el ejemplo anterior tenemos la fecha y aquí solo tenemos el mes. So I say in May. In April, in July, in August, in September, in December. Okay, si solo está el mes. If I only have the month. Years, con los años. In 2008, maybe you can say in 1998, 1998. Years, para años, for years, okay? For years, yeah? Estaciones. In the summer, uh, the different seasons of the year, las diferentes estaciones del año. So I say in the summer, in the winter, en el verano, en el invierno, in the winter, or you can say in the autumn, que aquí no tenemos otoño, or in the spring, que no tenemos primavera. Bueno, we kind of do, right? But we don't recognize them. And in the morning, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Yeah. So this is the use of in, so I repeat, in May, for months, para meses. In 2018, para años. Puede ser cualquier año. For example, I can say, en el 2020. Ah, then you say, in 2020. In 2020, or in 2022, for example, 2022. In 2022, we have to visit some customers, for example, yeah? In the summer, in the winter, in the autumn, in the spring, in the morning, in the evening, uh, in the afternoon. Yeah. So this is the use of in. Este es el uso de in. This is the use of in. Do you have any question about the use of in? Do you have any question about the use of in? No, teacher. No, no right. teacher. Básicamente, entonces, en cuatro cosas, vea, profesor, solamente. Yes. Months, meses, months, in Month. May. Ajá, the other one, el otro es. Años, estaciones. Years, months, years, uh, seasons, Month, estaciones, en. En el día, en. Yes, uh -huh. las diferentes, eh, ¿cómo podemos en decir? No, no, las, las diferentes. Eh, la parte del día. Parte del día, exactly. Different parts ah. of the day. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the, in the evening. Excepto, except at night. Excepto en la noche. That we say at night. Que decimos at night. Ok. Ah. También podemos decir en el mediodía. También decimos at noon. En el mediodía. At noon. No ya le había puesto la noche yo, teacher. No, no, no. At night, no. Lleva at. Ok, ya lo vamos a ver. Okay, let's go to the other one. So, Jacqueline, do you have a question? No? Jacqueline, do you have a question? No, okay, let's not go to the other one. Okay, vamos a otro. Except not night and afternoon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Except night. No, Entonces, except night and noon. Y el noon también, mediodía. O medianoche, midnight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's look at the other. Vamos al siguiente. Let's, let's look at the other. Okay, let's see. Uh, the other one is, the other one is at. At. When do we use at? Cuando usamos el at? When do we use uh, at? At. We use at 
or times, para decir la hora. At 2.30. What time do you arrive to work? Oh, you say, I arrive to work at 7 a.m. The time, right, para decir la hora. Y lo que les decía. At noon, en el mediodía. At noon. At night, en la noche, en at midnight. Yeah. So, en el mediodía, en la noche y en, y en la medianoche decimos at. At noon, at night, and at midnight. Para decir en la mañana, en la tarde, in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening, que sería ya llegando a la noche, ya, yeah? in the evening. Ok. <coughs> I, re I will repeat the explanation, all right? I will repeat the explanation. So, repeating, um, remember, on with days of the week, on Monday, on Saturday, on Sunday. On for dates, para fechas, on January 23rd. Aquí lo mismo, for days of the week, for days of the week, para días de la semana, on. En el caso de on. In. In with months, con meses. With years, with seasons, con las estaciones, with seasons in the summer, in the winter. Y con las partes del día, with the parts of the day, in the morning, In the afternoon, in the evening, solo tres. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. At, for the time, para la hora. At noon, at night, at midnight. Yes? Do you have any question before we work? Do you have any question about this? On, in, at. On, in, at. Any question about this? No? In on Wednesday morning, se podría decir on Wednesday every morning. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. On Wednesday every morning, but not on Wednesday in the morning. Okay, on Wednesday in the morning, ya no podría ser correcto. Ya no es correcto. It's not correct. You say on Wednesday morning, yeah? On Wednesday in the afternoon. On Wednesday in the evening. Y luego con los que llevan night, con los que llevan at, perdón, then you say at, ahí sí decimos at. On Monday at night, on Monday at noon, on Monday at midnight, ¿ya? Yeah? Ahí sí ya va el at. Ok, so any other question? No. No? No. Good teacher. Roxana, ok. Yes. Uh, for example, um, me... Si digo, I home, I, no, I arrive at home, I arrive in home, I no. arrive out, at home, o sea, podemos usar cualquiera. Uh, for home, for home, you better say, mejor digamos, I arrive home. home, I arrive home, or you can say at home, porque el home siempre llevaría at, no in, right? I arrive at home, or you can say, I arrive to the house. I arrive at home, I arrive home, or I arrive to the house or to my house. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, Rosanna. All right, now listen. Uh, very easy. Together, juntos, together, we will complete one activity. I will give you three minutes to think. Le voy a dar tres minutos para pensar. I will give you three minutes to think. But don't tell me the answers. No me van a decir las respuestas. Don't tell me the answers, okay? After the three minutes, we will check together. Después de esos tres minutos, vamos a revisar juntos. We will check together. Okay. Now, let me show you the exercise. Déjenme compartirles el ejercicio. Let me show you the exercise. Okay. Let me go here. Listen. Here, we have an email. Aquí tenemos un correo. So, please, complete the email using in, on, or at. Depending on the explanation, dependiendo de lo que les expliqué. So, on the space, you can put in, on, or at. So, please, take a moment, read the email, and think página, about the answer. ¿Qué página es esa, teacher? It's on page 36, en la página 36. Page okay. 36. So, please, take a moment, check the email, and think about the answers. Y piensen en las respuestas. Don't tell me. No me digan ahorita. Okay? Go ahead. I give you three minutes. Tres minutos. Three minutes. Thank <clears throat> you. 
It's on page 36, página 36, page 36. Okay, three minutes. I'm taking the time. Aquí llevo el tiempo. Three minutes, all right? Mm. So you will compete using in, on, or at. Okay, apply the explanation, please. Uh, Jocelyn, uh, today is a private session for you, okay? Jocelyn, the private session for you is today. Ahora eh, le toca la, la sesión, okay? Yes. So, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. One minute, one minute. Ok, 3 minutes, right? So the 3 minutes are over. Ya terminaron los 3 minutos. The 3 minutes are over. Ok, listen. Let's make it simple. Let's make it simple. I will select some participants to read. Voy a seleccionar algunos participantes para que lean. Uh, on the period, you stop. Ok. Después de que digan la respuesta, yo les voy a decir en qué momento se van a detener. Y el, de, y el, y el siguiente que elija va a continuar leyendo. The next one will continue reading the email, okay? So let's start, empecemos, let's start. Let me share screen, déjame compartir pantalla, let me share screen. Let me share screen here. Okay, let's see. Um, so we start right, hello, Fatima. And we continue with Hazel Sarai. Mm. Hazel Sarai, you will stop in launches. Aquí, se va, aquí te vas a detener en launches, ok? So read please, Hazel Sarai. Are you busy? Ok. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Launches? All right. Thank you very much. So you have on. Hazel? On Monday. On Monday. Excellent. That's very good. Thank you very much. There's. We continue here. Aquí con there's. We continue with, um, let me see, with Luis Alejandro. There's a presentation 
And Luis Alejandro, you will stop in 6.30, okay? And there's a presentation about it and I sounds very interesting. I start uh, at 6 30. All right, thank you very much. So you have at, please? Yes. Okay, at, exactly. It's correct. At 6 30. Thank you very much. Okay. I work for the next person. La siguiente persona se va a tener en street. Y va a empezar en I work. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's listen to. Yesenia is not connected, right? So let's listen to um, Wendy Natalie. I work. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6. At. At. At 6, it's okay, at 6 o'clock. Uh -huh. Arctic o'clock. Uh, on the corner of First. Office Avenue and Main Street. All right, thank you very much. So you have at six at. Yes. Yes, okay, thank you. That's very good. Thank you very much. So the next person will read the rest. La, la siguiente persona va a leer todo lo que falta. The next person will read the rest. Okay, let's listen to Ember. <clears throat> what, uh, do you... what do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be uh, in March on Sunday, and I can't that day. All right, thank you very much, Amber. So you have in March on Sunday. Amber? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. So the, the correct answer is in March on Sunday. Thank you very much, Amber. So that's correct. Now, <clears throat> did everybody have the same? Todos tenían lo mismo. Did everybody have the same? Yeah. Oh my yes. God. Okay, that's perfect. Yes, okay. teacher. That's perfect. Very good. Great job. Excelente trabajo. Great job. So listen, in this moment we have eight minutes tenemos ocho minutos we have eight minutes i will explain the following activity very quickly le voy a explicar lo siguiente rápidamente i will explain the following activity very quickly you will go vamos a ir a la plataforma le voy a compartir okay let me share with you vamos a ir a la plataforma oh, bueno ahorita solo mira la indicación just check the directions okay <clears throat> Let me show you here. Okay. So you will go to the platform. Yo ya estoy en la plataforma. So you will go to the platform. Van a ir a la plataforma. Y van a ir donde dice discusión. Ya. Yeah? Después de curso dice discusión. Discussion. Y ahí yo les he posteado una actividad. Dice writing about my classmates activities. Escribiendo acerca de las actividades de mis compañeros. And you have the instruction. Tiene una indicación acá. It says, using the information from exercise 2, page 35, write what some activities uh, that your classmates have to do. Specifying time and date. Use and to connect your ideas. Aquí en este espacio ustedes pueden agregar su comentario. On this space. Yeah. ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? Usando el cuadrito que llenaron en la página 35, yes, con el have to, van a escribir acerca de esos compañeros que escribieron las actividades. Yeah. For example, por ejemplo, for example, um, let me clear here. Here. Obviamente aquí lo que ustedes van a hacer va a ser digital, ¿verdad? Eh, solo déjenme quitar el lápiz rápidamente. Van a, van a entrar acá. You will enter here. <clears throat> and obviously, you will write. Van a escribir las oraciones, right? For example, imagine you say, Juan Carlos, just to give you one example. Juan Carlos, um, he said, checks, I think. Uh, checks uh, the reports. 
I'm just inventing reports, um, routes on Friday at 3 p.m., for example. At 3 p.m., okay? Ya tengo una actividad. I have one activity, okay? Ya, yeah. va a inscribir al menos, eh, al menos de dos compañeros, va a inscribir tres actividades para cada compañero, ¿ok? Con la información que ya tienen en ese cuadrito, la información que les compartieron sus compañeros, ¿ok? Y luego van a ponerle enviar, send, send homework, ¿ok? Cuando terminen de escribir las actividades, you will click on, van a hacer clic en enviar, you will click on send, ¿ok? And that's it. Y eso es todo lo que tienen que que hacer, that's what you have to do ok, so do you have any doubt, tienen alguna duda do you have any doubt eso está, lo vamos a hacer después de la clase o en este momento sugiero en ese momento tenemos cinco minutos que empiecen a, a, a escribirlo ok, sí, o si gustan ya yeah. ah, para cuando se pone every day eh, se ocupa el on siempre. No, no, it's not necessary. You only say every day. Solo. Ajá. She checks Solo. email every day, only. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Every day. Yeah, so any other question? Eh, perdón, solo una pregunta, teacher. Yes, Nelson. Eh, vamos a entrar, digo, este, en la plataforma en, donde dice... Discusión. Ahí no claro. Discusión. discusión gracias, gracias. Después de curso aparece discusión y ahí aparece el espacio para agregar el comentario. Agregan el comentario y le ponen enviar. Send. ¿Ya? Okay. Teacher. Ahorita. Yes, Loida. Y lo puedo hacer mañana porque yo no, no sé que mi internet, yo lo escucho bien, bien a usted, uh -huh. pero mejor quite mi cámara porque no me comparte la, su imagen, solo se queda cargando. Ok, no problem. It's okay. Uh, ahorita, it's okay. ahorita lo que podemos hacer es tenemos cinco minutos. So in these five minutes, start making your work. Si quieren, empiecen a digitar en estos cinco minutos si pueden. If you are using your computer, you can start. O si no pueden hacerlo a mano, después solo lo pasan y ya lo, ya lo tienen listo, okay. right? And you have it ready, okay? So let's take these six minutes to work. Tomemos estos seis minutos para trabajar, pero acá, ahorita, aquí, on the screen, okay? No se salgan, here. Teacher, ya. Yeah. Eh, en mi caso que yo venía en camino cuando se hizo esa actividad, eh, no, no tengo como grupo, como no me uní. Okay, maybe um, do you have any contacts from different classmates? Tienes contactos de algunos compañeros? Um, sí. Ok, then ask to classmates to send you the activities. Pídeles a dos compañeros que te envíen las actividades al WhatsApp. Ok. Yeah. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> si lo terminan ahorita, lo suben de una vez, ok? Ya quedan libres. And you are free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yo sí lo voy a hacer hasta mañana en la mañana. Tengo bien inestable el internet. Ok, you can start working on paper right now. Puede empezar a trabajar en papel ahorita entonces. So you have okay. just ready to, to type, ok? Para que lo tengan listo solo para digitar. You have ready to type, ok? Teacher, ¿puede repetir la indicación? Es que estaba más concentrada en que no podía ver la... Que una explicación. Yes, you have to go to the platform. Vas a ir a la plataforma. Y en la plataforma, on the platform, you have, let me show you here. Déjame compartir. Aparece un apartado después de curso que dice discusión. Yes, acá, right here. It says discusión. So you will click on discusión y luego está la actividad. You have the activity. It's a writing activity. Es una actividad de escritura. Usando las actividades de las cuales tomaron nota de sus compañeros en la página anterior de la que estamos trabajando ahorita, van a escribir seis oraciones. Tres oraciones de un compañero y tres oraciones de otro 
compañero, que es básicamente lo que tienen en el cuadrito. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, yo puse Juan Carlos checks the reports routes on Friday at 3 p.m. Okay, esa es una actividad de Juan Carlos, pero me faltan dos. I am missing two. Cuando termine con Juan Carlos, voy con el otro, voy a escribir actividades del otro compañero con quien practiqué. Mm -hmm. Basically that, básicamente eso lo hice. And then you click on send. Luego hacemos click en enviar. Click on send later. Okay. So for today, you will have two tasks. Para hoy van a tener dos tareas, entonces, ¿ok? The same, la tarea que siempre está en la plataforma y ahora tienen estas oraciones que van a escribir, ¿ok? These sentences, ¿ya? Yeah? Sí, sí, y ahí tenemos que añadir publicación. Voy a estar aquí en discusión porque a mí no me aparece. ¿No aparece discusión? No, a mí no me aparece. Ok, ¿cómo te aparece? How does it appear? Permite, vamos a ver. Me aparece todos los temas, de ahí me parece añadir una publicación, buscar en todo y ahí dice filtrar tema. Ok, eh, ve a añadir publicación. Ahí me dice tipo de publicación, discusión, área temática, ¿Discusión? general. Discusión, de ahí área temática, me sale general. Y me ¿Puedes, sale puedes compartir los... pantalla. Lo que te sale. Ok, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Abajo, está niño, más abajo. ¿Te parece la opción para escribir? Quiero ver, vamos a ver. Ah, Luis Alejandro, can you share screen, please? ¿Puedes compartir pantalla? ¿O quién dijo niño, niño? Luis Alejandro, I think, right? No, ahorita veo porque el celular es solo. Sorry. En el celular estoy, quiero ver si puedo compartir. Ok, sí, sí, ahí se puede compartir pantalla, creo yo. You can share screen. Share screen. O alguien que lo tenga ahí también que nos ayude a compartir pantalla. Creo que tienen autorizado compartir pantalla. Sí, ahorita creo. Creo que ahí está mi pantalla, ¿verdad? No. no, no, no aparece. Compartir pantalla, tendrías que apretar el share screen. <coughs> no, ahí no tienes. Ah, Luis Ricardo, ¿qué es share screen? ¿Puedes compartir tú? Ahorita vamos a ver. Or who is using a laptop? ¿Quién está usando una laptop? Who is using a laptop? Oh, yeah, there we go. Ahora sí ya está compartiendo. Okay, yes, you're sharing. Ya está compartiendo. Okay, vamos a ver. Ya estoy tu... Yeah, yeah, I can, we can see. Podemos ver tu pantalla. Vale, Ve esto entonces me aparece, para ver el proceso. Oh, es que está haciendo. Me... Okay, añadir una publicación. Ahí abajo aparece ahí, ahí abajito, ahí. Ahí está, ahí en ese texto que ha llenado. Uh -huh. Aquí, discusión, general, título. Ya. Yeah. Okay, no okay, estaba okay. compartiendo, si no me equivoco. Oh, era Luis Alejandro, sorry. Yo pensé que era Luis Ricardo. Ok, ya. Yeah. Ahí les compartí entonces Luis Alejandro. Vaya, mira, niño, aquí ve. Voy, 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 voy. Mira, pues. Ah, ahí está Bob, ya ve. Y por qué le niña le dice. Así me dicen ellos. Vale, va a venir yo. Ahora le vamos a la confianza. Ah, ya, hay amor ahí, compañerismo. Compañerismo. Yo creo que ahí está compartiendo. Ya, ya, yo sí, está compartiendo. No encuentro el navegador. 
Vaya, empezás aquí arriba. Eh, te vas aquí donde dice discusión. Y empezás a bajar. Vaya, ahora borro lo mío. A añadir publicación. Yes. And then ahí aparece el espacio. You ahí dice su pregunta o idea. Yeah. Ok, ok. Yeah. Gracias, gracias. Para, gracias. Para, que se les, para que se les haga más fácil, ahí donde, donde aparece la pantalla, antes de meterse en la publicación, arriba dice todos los temas, ahí aparece la publicación que puso el teacher. Ah, ok. okay Thank okay. you very much, Amber. Yo no, le, no, no puedo explicarles directamente porque a ustedes les aparece diferente. Las, no, no sé cómo les aparece a ustedes, por eso le dije a Luis que, que compartiera pantalla. Sí, okay. por el celular. Uh -huh. So, Amber, uh, can you repeat your explanation, please, Amber? Voy a compartir mi pantalla para decirles. Le aparece okay, casi lo perfect. mismo que en la laptop. Ok, thank you very much. Uh, aquí, vean, arriba, donde dice discusión, acá métanse donde dice todos los temas. Ahí seleccionen y les va a aparecer esto. Vaya. No sé si lo están viendo. Ah, aquí sí, dice aquí aparece. Writing el... about. Ajá. Discusión. Ah, pues, se meten en discusión. Apagaste el micrófono. Bueno, pero aquí está, ahí está discusión, si se fijan, y abajo aparece, ahí aparece la tarea, que es Writing About My Classmates Activities, aquí aparece. Uh -huh. Creo que lo están viendo todos, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Ajá, entonces le hacen clic ahí de una vez y ahí le va a permitir publicar. Uh -huh. Creo que se, se frisó. O ya no le cargó, fue. Diren. Load. Todos los temas, ya. Yeah. Discusión, todos los temas, y ahí les aparece. Writing about my classmates' activities. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Amber. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's finished, teacher. All right, perfect. Okay, so the class is over, basically. Ya es hora, okay, it's time. So listen, we will stop here. Nos vamos a detener acá. Hagan su publicación, please. Okay, so please uh, post. Por favor, hagan su publicación. Please post, all right? Don't forget. So for today, we have two pieces of homework. Tienen dos tareas para hoy. El pequeño quiz de cinco preguntas siempre. And you have the discussion form. Y tienen que ir a postear o publicar en el foro, okay? o en discusión. Ok, so uh, thank you for joining today again. Thank you for joining. Gracias por unirse. Tomorrow is the last day of the week, right? Tomorrow is Friday. Bye. And thank you to rest of the week, ok? So thank you for joining and see you tomorrow, ok? Good night. Only, only, good stay, night. only just in stay, ok? So goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Nice. Tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Nice. See you tomorrow. Uh, Cheers. No. Yeah. Yeah. I will finish, pero tengo una una pregunta. ¿Cómo se escribe? Bueno, yo ahora terminé, pero no sé. Tuve la duda de cómo escribir una palabra, así que no sé si lo dejo así o. No, no. Which word is it? ¿Cuál palabra es? Which word is es it? Es equipo. Ah, oh, okay. Let's sure. I no sé cómo se escribe. You write equipment. 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 Yeah. Y the pronunciation is equipment. Exactly. Equipment. Ah. Mm -hmm. Gracias, teacher. Feliz okay, noche. no problem. Okay. Good night. Yes. All right, Jocelyn. <laughs> Okay, Jocelyn, uh, this time is for you. If you have any questions about pronunciation, about grammar, about vocabulary, this time is for you. Este espacio es para ti, okay? So do you have any questions or doubts? Ay, teacher, a mí me cuesta la pronunciación. Ay, bueno, es que yo siento, teacher, que la mayoría de los compañeros como que hay un común conocimiento mm -hmm. de vocabulario, 
y de gramática, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Eh, y yo no, entonces me cuesta un poquito. Y aparte que no tengo un diccionario, entonces como que a veces adivinando, ¿va? Uh -huh. Y de igual forma para escribir las oraciones, a veces las escribo como al revés, como yeah. si las estuviese escribiendo en español. Uh -huh. Got it. Okay, uh -huh. so, ¿en qué parte específicamente necesitas ayuda ahorita? ¿En qué parte quieres que, que te apoye? Tal vez con algunos tips en pronunciación, en gramática. Elige una primero, choose one. Uh, gramática. Grammar, ok, grammar. Ok, listen. Uh, para mejorar en gramática, primero, first, uh, ¿sabe verbos en inglés? Do you know verbs in English? <coughs> eh, no, solo work, eh, dance, eh, listen es un verbo. Ya, yeah, es un verbo. ¿Y de los verbos que hemos estado estudiando? Eh, work. Ya. Yeah. Eh, Check. Check, correcto. Check. Que siempre yo, para, para decir Inst revisar, decía review. Ajá. Install, que es instalar. Install, que es instalar. ¿Qué más? Supervise, supervisar, supervise. We have different verbs. Normally, the verbs in Spanish finish in ar, er, ir. Los verbos en español terminan en ar, er, ir. Ya, yeah, todo lo que termina en ar, er, ir en español son verbos. They are verbs, ¿ok? Para tener una idea más o menos de cuáles son los verbos en español para yo poder usarlo fácilmente en inglés, ¿ok? Now listen. Hay estructuras básicas o estructuras importantes de una oración. De una oración... Voy a compartir pantalla. Voy a compartir pizarra, perdón. Ok. Básicamente... En, vale, en, básicamente, digamos, el... La estructura de una oración básica es el subject, el sujeto, verb y el, comple el complemento, complemento, ¿ok? Ok. Esa es como la estructura básica de una oración en inglés, para que sepa cómo estructurarla. Por eso preguntaba acerca de verbos. El subject puede ser un pronombre, como el I, you, we, they, puede ser un nombre, puede ser un lugar, puede ser una cosa, ese es un sujeto, that's a subject, ¿okay? Entonces, imagínate que yo quiero decir I. Me decía un lugar, un objeto. Un animal puede ser, una persona. Okay. ¿Ya? Un sustantivo, yeah. Ajá, un sujeto es un sustantivo. Ok, esa es la estructura básica de una oración. Imagina que say I check. I check. Y luego digo email. El complemento puede ser llamar como tú quieras. I check email every day. I check email on Monday in the morning. On Monday morning, sorry. Ok. Bien. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Esa es la estructura básica de una oración positiva. De una oración negativa es lo mismo. Solo que en una oración negativa, let me raise, let me go out, just let me raise. No, Lisa, ¿No me escuchas? ¿Ahora sí? Sí, ahora sí. Vale, solo que en una, esa es la estructura de una oración positiva. En Ajá. una oración negativa, básicamente, lo único siempre ya lo sabe, lo único que ahora tiene sí valor. Puede ser el don o el dasen. Pero siempre es el don a parte del verbo. Es un verbo social. Hay un check. Aquí ya vamos a hacer, perdón. Email. Y es, es una estructura básica de una oración. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Complemento. Ajá, complemento, que puede ser el, cualquier complemento, ¿ok? Ni complemento. Depende del verbo que tenga. ¿Bien? Okay, ok, teacher. Ahora bien. Si es una pregunta, esta es apuesta. Ok, si es una pregunta, llevo un verbo auxiliar. Después lleva un sujeto. Es que va después? Verb, el verbo. Y después va el 
complemento. Si te fijas, todo va lo mismo. ¿Qué es lo que cambia? Que lleva un verbo auxiliar. ¿Qué es lo que hemos estado estudiando? puede ser por Do. You. Um, this oh my God. Let me say it. Just let me. Okay, let me put that up there. No listen, teacher. Do you visit? Okay, do you visit um, customers, for example, the clientes? Customers. Do you visit customers on Monday, for example? Visita los clientes lunes. Do you visit customers on Monday? Y tengo el auxiliar. Okay, I have the auxiliar. Tiene el auxiliar. I have the auxiliar. Yeah. Yeah. Es lo único que cambia en la pregunta que lleva un verbo auxiliar. Y ahí va lo mismo, el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. Yeah. Eso es para que tú veas más o menos cómo estructurar una pregunta para que la próxima vez tengas una idea de cómo hacerlo. Okay. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ya, yeah, teacher. Ok. Eso es respecto a gramática. Ajá. Y en vocabulario, obviamente, tengo que yo buscarlo, ¿verdad? Ahí es, ahí es personal. Tal vez lo que... Ajá. Tal vez lo que yo podía hacer es sugerirte algunos tips, ¿verdad? Eh, normalmente Ajá. cuando yo aprendí inglés yo andaba un cuaderno, un cuadernito solo para vocabulario y lo estudiaba frecuentemente y escribía ejemplos con este vocabulario. ¿Ok? Ajá. Lo mismo. A veces hacía tarjetitas con palabras y atrás escribía la traducción y hacía un dibujito. Cada quien con su estrategia para aprender vocabulario. ¿okay? Hey. ¿Ya? Porque a mí me gusta dibujar, entonces hacía un dibujito representando la palabra y se me quedaba esa palabra. A mí no me gusta dibujar, Tuchi. Ajá, puede ser entonces lo de cuadernitos, no. con traducciones. Ok. Vaya, y la pronunciación eh, me cuesta también, pero... Lo que yo sugiero mayormente en pronunciación es música en inglés. ¿Música en inglés? Eso yeah. estaba diciendo Luis Ricardo. Pero no solamente... Era así ha mejorado. No solamente escuchar la música en inglés sino que ir y buscar la letra en inglés y aprendérsela. Y ahí puedes aprender vocabulario también, porque te va entrando curiosidad de qué significan algunas palabras. Puedes matar dos pájaros de un solo tiro. Ok. ¿Qué artista me recomienda, teacher? Que no sea tan difícil. La... Ahí, a los gustos, los colores, como dicen, la, las canciones que a ti te gustan. A mí me gustan las clásicas en inglés. Me encantan, ok. Yo practico con clásicas en inglés. Pero tal vez a ti te gustan. La de los 80, 90. Ajá. Exactamente. La pero... Lady in Red. Ajá, ajá Lady in Red. Uh, every Rose has its turn. Total Eclipse of the Heart. Todas esas. Uh -huh. yeah. <ríe> ok, teacher. Entonces, la recomendación sería eh, una libretita, libretita para el vocabulario. Ajá. Traducción y hacer ejemplos. Y... Propios ejemplos. Ajá. Y escuchar música. Uh -huh. Y aprender a hacer el Ya. Vaya. Ahora, le tengo una pregunta, vaya. Yeah. A ver si yo he estru estructurado bien las respuestas de lo que vamos a hacer. En el... okay. ¿Puedo preguntar? Sí. ¿O no? Ya, ya, ya. Of course, por supuesto. Ok. Vaya. Eh, vaya. Eh, me tocó con Ember Giovanni y Luis Alejandro. Vaya, yeah. sería... Ember Giovanni has to work every day at 8 o'clock. Yeah. Maybe um, has to work every day at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ajá. Está bien, así. Yeah, it's okay, a las 8. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's okay. It sounds good. Okay. Eh, la number two sería has To, igual va. Ember Giovanni has. Say he. Mejor di he. Ah, he. He has to report refrigerador. O sea, repara refrigeradoras, uh -huh. pero has no sabía cómo tener. Tener. He has to repair refrigerators. Sería refrigerador. Uh -huh. Refrigeradores. Sí. Yeah. Ah. Con ese al final. Yes. On Sunday, around 
eight or nine. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Y la última sería, he has to check car in April. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Vaya. Eh, Luis Alejandro has to buy a car in up April. Okay, it's okay. In April. In. In. In April. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Y ahí sería... He has to play soccer on Saturday at uh, 6 a.m. At, at 6 a.m. No. At, at. I am, uh -huh. at, at 6, 6 a.m. I yeah. am o'clock. Yeah, at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Uh, si digo a.m. no digo o'clock. Ah. Yeah, solo 6 o'clock. Entonces solo lo dejo en 6 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Y la última sería, he has to make medication every day at 8 a.m. At about 8 a.m. Uh-huh. At about 8 a.m. Uh-huh. Or 5, 5 yeah. p.m. Yeah. It's okay. It's It's perfect. Ok, teacher, thank you. Yo All right, no nos problem. terminó ya. Ya, ya, eso es. No, no, but it's ok. I like when my students ask. Me gusta cuando me preguntan. It's very good. I like that. Ok. Ok, teacher, gracias. Ok, gracias, no problem. Teacher. Thank you for, for staying. Tiempo. <laughs> okay. ok. Ok, thank you. Good night. Good night, teacher. All right, see you tomorrow. Eh, ¿Y eso? <laughs> See you tomorrow. You say see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Significa... Te veo mañana. See you tomorrow. Ah, see you. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. Okay. Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, teacher. <laughs>